Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if this is new or if I'm adding this to something, but if this is new, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jadine. If you guys don't know who I am, if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, I'm currently a nurse tech at a hospital and I'm documenting the journey as I go along. So I just completed the night shift, but I'm literally sitting in Duncan because I have a class that I'm going to have to take at um, 8 o'clock. I thought it was 7 and I went and they said it's not until 8 o'clock. So I have to come burn like 30 minutes in Duncan at 7.32 and then go back to do the class for two hours. And I'm praying that it's just an hour long when I go back. And then I have to go to employee health, not employee health, human, res human resource. And then when I go home, I have to go to the pharmacy just a few things that I have to come back tonight but my first night on my own was really really good I was able to work very well I just need to figure out the time management and the second half of the shift I really did um, figure out the time management so so far so good doing pretty good last night was my first night working independently and it was good I'm not gonna lie the first half before I got my break really was sending me in terms of like I really had to figure out a momentum just a, a like a routine almost right so when i went i made sure that i got all of my bags together for my labs and you know that really set off the pace for i mean first use secure machine but that really set off um the pace for the night really and um then everything really went from there i feel like the part that was really throwing me for a loop a little bit was making sure that i had everything together for all the blood work and doing the vitals at the same time. But after that, the second half of the shift, I was ready to go, I was on it. And even one of the nurses was like, you're on a roll. And I'm like, absolutely. The first half of this shift was really sending me, right now I'm on it, you know? And for me, that's really what it comes down to, just really figuring out, a, coming up with a system, is what I was trying to say earlier. Really coming up with a system and like figuring it out. This morning after my shift, I had to do a telemetry class and that really took me out because sleep was killing me and even the educator he was like Miss Jared are you still with us I'm trying bro I really am <laughs> I'm so tired he's like oh my gosh I know that you worked the night shift last night and I know that it's rough but like we're almost there I don't know if I remembered anything from the entire uh, lecture but like I have papers that I could like go over it was kind of brutal to begin with but afterwards like I caught up on myself and I was able to finish and had like a good hour that I was able to just sit down or like chill sit around that was basically the last hour before the shift ended though but outside of that like it was pretty good but um yeah I'm gonna be preparing myself to possibly work a double tomorrow I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna have that option but I'm gonna mentally prepare myself just in case they need somebody to stay over then I can I'm trying to video call my daughter. She's trying to video call me, but it's not really going anywhere. So mentally, I can. But yeah, this morning really drained me. <laughs> this morning really drained me. Because I literally had to leave the telemetry class, go to the pharmacy to pick up a prescription. When I came home, I did not even want to talk. I came home, I hopped in the shower, and I um sleep. Literally. I had these PJs folded up on my bed. So last night I showered and I went to sleep. Right now it's 5 o'clock and I really need to probably shower again. And I'm going to shower now or I'm going to shower later because it's kind of hot. Maybe I'll shower later. Maybe I'll set an alarm for 8. 45 p.m. and hop in the shower really quickly and get ready. 8.45 p.m. Okay. Well, I came home and I, and I slept and I've just been sleeping ever since. I think I woke up at like sometime after three or so i don't really know and when i woke up after three i really um almost four o'clock i just got something to eat so i can take my daily vitamins because those have been going off all morning but obviously i was in the telemetry class initially and then after that i came home and i slept the entire day away which just feels like such a damn waste anyways my daughter is telling me some type of sorcery and it's pissing me off but i just had breakfast at oh, almost 5 p.m. and I'm gonna sleep for another hour or an hour and a half and then I'm gonna wake up and probably have some food from the fridge I see some jerk chicken in there and stuff and then basically I'm gonna be ready to be back at work so that's great tonight is Friday night 
tomorrow, um, the girls planned that we were all going out for a nice little girls' night. I don't know if that's still in motion. I need to check in to see if we're all still on the same page concerning that. I don't think I'm going to be able to go back to sleep, but I am absolutely going to just lay in the bed and turn the air on and just chill out, allow my body to, you know? Last night I was trying to sleep and that wasn't going anywhere, even before I had the coffee because I knew that I this morning would have been long, but working out anyways i'm gonna go i just wanted to pop in and let you guys know how the first night went almost there was just one i had like 12 patients and there was just one that did not need blood work and i got all of the blood work except two and those two people i did Excuse me, those two people I did try, I stuck them both and the blood just wasn't running anymore. And I hate having to be there just moving the needle around in their arm because that's painful. And I'm taking it from here, this is already painful. And well, that's one person. The other person, he moved once the needle was in there. So it's like, mm. take a screenshot of what it's saying and let me see because I don't understand what you're saying. And I don't know how you've already used 60% of the data when you literally just put on the plan. Which plan did you activate? This girl's stressing me out. She's messaging me two different places. And goodbye. Hi, y'all. It's quite some time later. And, um, you know, so far, I can't complain. This shift has been going really, really good. You know, I've come up with my own system as far as figuring out what I'm going to do first and how I'm going to go about it. But, you know, the first thing that I do when I do go in there is pull my list of, well, not, not even pull my list. I make sure that I gather all my supplies because working on a telemetry unit consists of a lot of blood drawers in the morning. And so because of that, I make sure that having a rough idea of how many patients are going to be in my district, I set up that specific amount of bags. And I do SSD tube, which is the orange tube, and I do a lavender tube because nine times out of ten, those are the two that you are going to draw. Sometimes you're going to draw like two SSDs, two LAVs, you know, more than one, but those same colors, just more than one of each, you know? And so I make sure that when I gather my load of bags, inside of the bag, I have a needle with everything ready to go because most of the needles are already packaged. So I have the needle, um, I have the tourniquet, I have gauze, band-aid, um, alcohol pad, the tubes, of course, and I put extra of everything like extra alcohol pads and stuff like that just to make sure that you know when i'm with the one person i'm not leaving to go do something else if something happens to one of the tubes i still have another one right there without having to move the needle because sometimes you just get it right and when you move the needle it's over you're there struggling you can't get any more blood there's not enough blood in the tube you know so i like to make it a little bit easier on myself and make sure that i have everything basically ready to go and to prepare for if there are any like mishaps while I'm there getting it together, you know? And so, so far, that's that's really what's been going on, but um, can't complain, pretty decent. At the end of every shift, um, if I see like the educator or like my preceptor, they're always asking, oh, how's it going and everything, you know? And honestly, it's really been going fine. Like I said, I cannot complain. Now I'm at a point where I know exactly what I'm doing and you know, if I go and I get my cart ready and I don't get the labels for the labs, I can just go ahead and start my vitals and then those come when they come. Last night was a really smooth night, you know, nice, just seamless process because I'm at a point where I've figured out like what I'm doing. Anyways, that's where I'm going to wrap up this vlog. I just wanted to pop in and explain a little bit more to you guys, especially if you guys are new. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will, of course, see you guys in the next video.